Our next comedian is going to be, oh, I love this gal. She started a long time ago, uh, back when Noah was around. Uh, please put your hands together for Grandma Doris. I am so glad she put that back in there so I can get out. Because at my age, we have very few chances to do that. My husband's here. I forgot I wasn't supposed to tell that joke. Uh-oh. I'm actually a great-grandmother. Seriously. My granddaughters went out and had children, so... I was thinking about it the other day when she was planning on coming to visit me, and I realized that could mean I'm old. Because I hadn't noticed, you know, and I... Um, you know... I thought about it, my mother was old. My grandmother was old. I never knew my great-grandmothers, they were that old. And I've been a great-grandmother for seven years. Shit, I might not make it through this set, but I'm gonna try to hold on. <sighs> but lately, just recently, I got a job. They pay me to be old. They call it Social Security. I can tell you it's, uh, it's probably, you know, secure. We do get a check every month so far. But really, at $232 a month, it is really hard to be very social. Seriously. I don't know. I've, I've, I'm trying. I'm working on it, you know, trying to learn how to be old. Because it, it really snuck up on me. Even that day that I drove into the car wash from the wrong end... Uh, that woman, she started screaming at me, and I don't know why, because I was just as surprised to see her. <laughs> and I don't know. Driving has been a little problem for me, always, because I didn't learn to drive till I was like 28. But it wasn't my fault, really. I grew up in Europe, and, uh, well, nobody drove. So I came back to the United States just before I turned 18, and... Frankly, I was busy learning to park, and I didn't get around to driving for a long time. Then I got married, and I had nothing else to do, so went out and got a driver's license. I've actually been married since 1969. Honest to God. Not to one man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they did overlap a little I'm careful. I'm not moving on till I know the road ahead. That's, that little white-haired man back there, he's got the keys to the road because we just celebrated our anniversary yesterday and I've been married to him for 33 years. Thank you. It's been really exciting, girls, I want to tell you, because when I married him, he was 19 and I was 30. And it was a very good idea. <laughs> it's been good ever since. His name is Nick, that little white-haired guy. My name is Doris. That makes us Nick at night and Doris Day. <laughs> That's the way it's been. Night and day and night and day. I mean, us women get a little uh, tired of it after, you know, 30 or 40 years. But guys don't seem to. They, they don't seem to. So it's a good thing I got me a little guy. He's just slightly taller than me. It's good because, you know, even him, when he lays on top of me, his belly hits me right in my diaphragm and it makes me burp in his face. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Frankly, sometimes I plan it that way, but, you, you know. The old headache thing, that wore out like 30 years ago, so, yeah, no, no. Sometimes it doesn't come out as a burp. And I call that a twofer. <laughs> yeah, he serves me chili a lot. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm not sure. But being old is, is tricky. It's tricky. It really is, because, well, I was taught to respect my elders, were you taught to respect your elders? Well, I, I, I'm having a hard time finding any, frankly. 
really getting, I have only, you know, like a couple of people left that I don't even know. And the rest are people's children and grandchildren. It's a good thing because sometimes I need to call them and say, you know, can you come by later because I got some money for you. <laughs> I, I didn't really say that. I forgot we were going to post this and my sisters were going to see it. But it is tricky. <laughs> I'll hear about it. One of them's a Pentecostal. Yeah, I'll hear about it. But um, <laughs> I, I, it, it does, it gets, uh, it gets really interesting. I mean, have you ever, you know, like been in Dillon's and you have an entire shopping cart, right? I mean, you've got it loaded and there's like four people in front of you and uh, three or four behind you. There's only two cashiers open and you got to pee. So I got to go now. Thank you. My name is Doris Swart. You can find me on YouTube. Doris Swart, ladies and gentlemen, give her a big hand.